And welcome back to episode 5 of our Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord campaign. Our previous one, you know, we had some some mixed success, let's say. Uh, we completed a couple of quests, though. Got a good bit of money. Spent a lot of money as well uh, recently. That's okay, though. We need to find ourselves some more iron. Uh, iron ore. We've got three, I believe, and we need to find us a little bit more. we got to talk to some nobles. And then aside from that, we're pretty much uh, open to, to do whatever we want in this world. Uh, so let's see, where's the next big town? Gallon's where we've got to bring the stuff. I don't think Hongard Castle's that likely for us. Let's make our way over to Charis. Charis? I don't know. But uh, we'll try and get some more cinematic views of our team riding here. Probably make it a little more interesting to look at. As we, uh, we'll make sure to fast forward to. We got a decent journey ahead of us. We're doing fine. Got plenty of grain. We're... 18 days till we're foodless. Uh, we should also hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's let's hit up some towns on the way by and recruit some dudes. We uh, very recently got a ton of reputation, doubled our ability to uh, have troops, or doubled our capacity for holding troops, which is sick. What is grain selling for here? Oh my goodness! I mean, I think this is when we uh, we offload some grain. So this is going to be a bit rough for us because we're going to be a little bit low on grain. Uh, and if we get into an area with uh, even more expensive grain, we could lose out because we'll have to buy food. But we don't have to buy grain necessarily. And, you know, we bought in at 10, then we bought some at 7. So we're offloading at a pretty decent price for ourselves there. And, uh, wow, that actually didn't take us very long at all to get over there. We'll stop by 7th and uh, check their grain prices along the way. Oh, okay. Okay, so grain over here is a little a little pricey. So we know where to to sell our grain. We've also got some other stuff to sell. We're at pretty much capacity here, which is kind of crazy. Um, How does this look compared to our current sword? Spiked battle axe. The one-handed weapon. We can use it with a shield. I haven't really cared for this splatha that much. Let's see. How do we look? Let's uh, let's give this uh, this a, a shot. We'll keep the iron splatha in case things go poorly. Uh, and we'll sell these shields here. We're not currently able to use them. Looks like they expire over time. Anyway, we'll get rid of these javelins because I hate them and everything that they stand for. And uh, offload some of our other junk. Could we get a better price for these? Maybe. But it's fine. I'm not super, super concerned about getting the best price possible and things like that because it's a little bit harder to predict the market on there. We're just going to keep picking dudes up. The sooner we pick up dudes, the sooner we can train them to be better. Hey, looters, come here. Come here. We're getting into a battle real quick. We're right here at Charas, but no, no, no. We're taking this, these guys down first. They're 4.9. We're 5.0. They're getting they're getting got eventually. They're running themselves into a dead end, too. I don't know where they think they're going. They're about to swim across that river there, trying to get away from us. Surrender or die, brigand. We're just here doing, you know, the the Lord's work. Maybe not the Lord's work, uh, but uh, purging the uh, area of some uh, nefarious criminals. That's how we'll put it, uh, to make me feel good about what we're doing. Uh, and also, I want to get our boys some experience. Uh, you know what? We're just going with the classic F1, F2. Easy enough. Whip out that bow uh, and find our enemies. There they are. All right, we're taking some pot shots here for sure. Oh, we did not time that one. Oh, we got to time that one better. Oh, nope, not happening. Okay. Boys, I don't... Oh, we didn't hit a guy there? There's a million people. I was about to say, how can we not hit someone? I'm literally just like firing into a giant swath of people. All right, let's try and isolate some dudes. And, uh, oh. Oh, I, I thought he was going to be on the other side of me. That was, that was totally my bad. All right. I, do, why is my doctor still fighting? I told you to be a medic, not to fight. All right, well, we're doing pretty well. Hopefully our medic doesn't die there. All right. Uh, like I said, I want our troops to gain some experience in some points. So if I took the kills, then they wouldn't get that experience. So so obviously I just, I let them take the kills there. Uh, so that's good. We had two wounded. Uh, both of our best people got wounded. Are you serious? Dude, I'm paying you guys so much more than my uh, than my other people. How are we not better at this? Um, crossbowman. Um, let's let's do a mix. We'll kind of alternate here. Uh, you got uh, some upgrades. What do we need here? You're, okay, you're not quite ready yet. Okay, I thought it looked like they're ready. They've got a little. Okay, that is they have been promoted, not they're ready to be promoted. Okay, uh, there's where it says that they're ready to be promoted. Um. Sure, dude. I mean, I'm going to promote our boys as soon as I can. I know it's going to cost us money. We're going to have to pay them a little bit more in general. I think it's totally worth it. Uh, dude, I would definitely recruit you guys if you were willing to come along. But, so I, I don't mind having... I like this bandit boss being with us. That's pretty cool. I, hopefully he'll join us eventually. Hopefully he'll, he'll uh, you know, come around to his senses, decide he's done living a life of crime. We're taking all this stuff because we've got room for it. We can offload it and get a little bit extra cash. And uh, we'll head back on to uh, the city that we ran far away from. Uh, that's okay, though. What are you guys? Villagers. Okay, I don't, I'm not going to mess with villagers. 
Are we over encumbered? I felt like we were walking real slow there. Grab some more dudes. We have still only at like half our party capacity, which is pretty awesome. Things are very expensive over here. What is going on with your guys' economy? I'm so sorry for you guys. Everything's way overinflated. And we'll, uh, we'll hit up this castle since we're here. It's possible that they'll have some goods for us, but uh, mostly we are forbidden. All right, fine. Fine. I didn't want to come in anyway. I wasn't feeling it. I thought you have a pretty lame looking castle, and I didn't like it. Uh, I saw those looters, but you know what? We'll let them be for just now. Uh, do they have a... What is this symbol here? I haven't figured out what this is, but they had two of those symbols, and then a group left, and they lost one. So maybe it's the parties that are there. Got a couple of quests here for us, too. That's good stuff. But let's real quick see if we can't find ourselves some of that ore. We do have a limited amount of time to complete that quest, though I think we're doing fine on it. Uh, I think we have plenty of time. Do we not have any? No? Not gonna not gonna have any iron ore, huh? Dang. Well, this is a, a harder, harder mission than I thought it'd be. Am I missing it? Maybe I'm just missing it. Let's go nice and slow. Not seeing anything. Also seeing all this overinflated grain. Um, so, it's, so there it says like 17s in reds. That, may, that seems like it's not a good price, and I agree. Fish is red, red. So this seems like a pretty good price for olives. And they have 159 olives? How much have we seen olives sell for elsewhere? You know what? We're going to take a little bit of a risk, and we're going to invest heavily into the olive market. We're going to buy ourselves 25 olives at 19, and we're going to hope that we can offload at a better price. Um, and we're actually going to we're gonna trade in some more of our grain. Not a huge amount here, but I think it's okay. Um, just because we can start eating some of those olives, and I'd rather uh, sell the grain here where it sells for more than it will elsewhere. So, you know, uh, I might not be doing great at this whole economy thing, but I'm willing to invest 340 for a potential profit here. Um, do we want to go harder than that, actually? I think we might want to go uh, maybe invest a little bit heavier. In the olive market that I initially thought. Mainly I'm going by weight here. That over encumbers us. Okay, so we'll sell one more grain. And we'll be happy with our 40 olives. And we're pretty close to being over encumbered here. Which uh, means we need to recruit some dudes. Because we do need to buy some iron ore. And if we can't carry it, that'd be quite useless. Um, let's head to the keep. Oh, I don't, never mind. No, what? Sorry, the, the tavern. Um, let's choose the prisoners to be ransomed. I'd ransom a couple here. Um, this brigand. He can go... This looter, he can go. How much do they pay for the bandit boss? So the bandit boss, like, he goes for a lot. But he's one that I'd really like to have join our squad, as well as this highwayman. So we're going to get rid of the people that aren't as good. And uh, hopefully keep the people that'll uh, come around eventually. So anybody cool that I could uh, hire here? Saiga the Shield Maiden. Apparently we can only find ladies uh, that'll work for us in the tavern. Not complaining, uh, just an interesting little uh, trivia piece there. This seems like the exact same layout as the previous tavern. That's okay, though. Uh, but yeah, maybe she'll want to join our squad. What are you good for? Sorry, that's a very rude way to say it. What are you good at? Let me phrase it that way. Uh, I do enjoy the nightcap over the eyes. She looks like a very sleepy lady. Uh, I, I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. My name is Niceus, madam. Tell me about yourself. I'll tell you my tale. But I warn you in advance, it's of no concern to me whether you approve or disapprove of what I did. I came from a good family, much with much land. Since I was a girl, I wished to be a shield maiden. I started fighting with the village boys and the old warriors. But it is a strange thing. While some families on our lands take pride in a daughter who takes up arms, others accorded with great shame. My father was of the latter type. I had no special desire to be married, but my family found a groom anyway. I consented, but my husband and I detested each other from the very first. Once he insulted me in the marketplace, I cursed his manhood. He struck me, and I pulled a knife, and he pulled his. I won. The elders sat in judgment of our case. As it turns out, they had plenty of precedent. They accorded our fight with a fair duel, and thus I was innocent of murder. On the other hand, I was excluded from his inheritance. I suppose that was fair, although I, do, I would have enjoyed wearing his jewels and riding his horse in front of his family. Uh, well, I mean, he seemed like kind of a jerk. He pulled the knife first in the story. We only have her account of things, but she was ruled innocent. And, you know, I don't think we're one to come in and judge. So, uh, you know, I would be willing to hire her if she's not insanely expensive. Suffice to say, I could not return to my father's house. I went on my way, happy to live my life of a warrior I had always dreamed of living. But I found out soon, the tales I loved as a girl of shield maidens who fought for honor do not pertain to a woman with no family or land. One cannot fight for honor when one does not know when the next meal comes from, so I fight for pay. Right now I'm between jobs. If you've got any work for me, I'm willing to discuss it. I could use somebody. That's so expensive. 
We're doing it, though. We're doing it. I like her. She seems sassy. She uh, has a lot of attitude when she wants to wear her husband's jewelry and trot around on his horse in front of her, his family. Uh, but a little bit expensive there, but it's okay. Uh, we're going to get some serious stonks going with our uh, olives here, I'm sure. And we'll be uh, rolling in cash before you know it. Uh, so we bought in olives at 19. Got to remember 19. Do we sell for more than 19? We're making a profit. If we can sell for 50, whoo, buddy, we'll be uh, happy, happy campers. Ooh, we should start a timer too, so this episode does not stretch on insanely long. We got a loading screen anyway, that's all right. Um, anything else we want to do around here? Uh, yeah, we got a couple of uh, couple of uh, missions we can go on here. We could walk around the towns. The towns are so big and so slow. We're just going to jump in here. Uh, so you got some raw materials. What do you got? Army of poachers. I'm interested in that one. We'll also look at overpriced materials. Maybe it's olives uh, or maybe it's grain and we'll be uh, good to go. Hello, madam. Who are you? Theron Fleed, okay, uh, you recently caught some bandits. Yes, oh, oh look at that, our renown, our, the word of our house uh, skateboard is spreading. Speaking as a merchant, we appreciate any efforts that make the roads safer. I heard you had a problem we could uh, help you with. I'm in a real trouble with some poachers. A few years ago, I invested in them I invested in them to hunt for me at the royal grounds. I paid all the hush money to keep the local authorities and nobles to give them free passage. And then we made out a fortune. After a while, the poachers built an army of their own, and with their earnings, muscled me out of the leather business. What can we do for you? I want you to crush them. Go to Vessen and kill them all. Um, I don't... Um, what? What? Uh... I don't know if this is a righteous cause for us here. I mean, they're poachers? Poachers are illegal, right? You know what? We can keep the smuggled leather. Okay. Each night, they transfer a huge amount of goes around midnight, enter the town, and hunt them down. All right. Normally, they'll uh, run away if they're busted around armed by armed men, but they have no fear. Be ready for a strong resistance. All right. Not in love with this quest, but, you know, you got to do uh, maybe some unsavory things from time to time, and it could be worse. Uh, and we'll walk this time. We'll uh, try and find our way around the town, since this guy's not terribly far away. Is, there, is this an alley? It is an alley. Oh, heck yeah, dude. I was worried we'd have to go all the way around. All right. Being able to hold alt to see the points of interest, enormous quality of life improvement. Oh my goodness. Before knowing that, it would have been a nightmare. All right, hello, sir. What do you need? What uh, what's what are you looking for? You can't help me. I have other... Okay, so he's he's in the iron market too. That's what's going on there. That's unfortunate. Um, so what is... Why does she have two quests? Is that because we're on an active quest with her? Maybe that's what's up. All right, well... Well, uh, real quick again... Oh, we can't recruit anybody, huh? All right, well, that's okay. Uh, we've done most of what we can here. These guys probably don't want to do anything with us here. And let's see. How are we looking here? So let's just kind of get an idea. So we're doing okay. Is this prosperity? So, okay, okay. So we got, you know, losing a little bit there. But loyalties on the rise. Foods on the decline. Can we not eat olives? We can eat olives. Okay. Interesting. Not really sure what's affecting that, though, but... We have plenty of time till food. We got a full month with food. Uh, where are we heading? Where is this quest taking us? Vezin? Was that where it was, right? I think she said it was Vezin. Let's double check here. Uh, Army of the Butchers, Vezin. All right, so we're going to sneak in. Nice and uh, nice and sneaky-like, hopefully. Uh, go take the long way around so we can let the uh, daytime expire here, hopefully. All right. Well, we've got we got to wait a little bit. So, all right, here we go. Nightfall's coming. Hide in the trees. Let's uh, whip around here, get a nice little view. All right, this looks like uh, we're getting close to night. Chill a little bit, chill a little bit. That looks like night to me. All right, we're going in. We're going in, boys. Army of 29, how many dudes they got? Okay, that's the militia. All right, I thought it said that they had 31. I was like, excuse me? Um, Do we talk to them? We'll talk to them. We're not just going to assault them, right? Are you here to hunt us? If so, I want you to know that we are men of the people that take from the rich and give to the poor. The man who paid you, it's a, a woman is paying us, excuse me, so you clearly are lying to me already. I already don't trust this man, he doesn't know who's paying us. As living high on the hog and never cares how much common folk live on, but we care. The choice is yours. Maybe we can come to an agreement. Maybe. Uh... We need, we scored zero out of zero points to persuade him. Okay, what in the world is here? Uh, looks like you're not bad people. Just leave the royal grounds. I want to make sure your crimes are forgotten. Okay. Um, if there be a okay, so let's see. So is this our chance of success? Critical success. Okay. Upon selection, this will block one random option. Okay. So we have nine percent to fail there. Okay. 
We don't want to kill you, but we won't if we... We don't hesitate if we have to. Okay. It's better if you leave these lands. Huh. Ooh, which one of these options do we like? I mean, I kind of like this one. It seems like a little bit of Intimidate. It seems like it might go poorly for us if, uh... I mean, this one has... So, critical success is pretty, pretty big. This will probably end up being neutral. I think we got two shots at it, though. We need two successes. Never done a, a, a little calculation on this before, but uh, we could try and intimidate them. I don't want to make them leave. I want to get their goods. Because uh, I'm not a fan of the roguery. But this one seems like it's got a pretty good chance for us. Let's go with that. Ooh, critical success. Sweet. Um, yes, we are totally right. We are leaving this place. All right, so uh, that's probably going to lose us some... Okay, so we're neutral with her. I don't know if we got any money out of that, unfortunately, though. I think that that's, uh... We ended up handling it peacefully, but I'm okay with that. I didn't feel super good about that quest as it was, so I don't mind uh, that being a little bit dicier. So here we could offload olives, maybe, for uh, cheaper. No, they sell us to some. Okay, so uh, if we can find somebody that we have some reputation with, uh, that'd be good for us. Uh, let's head over to the Sargot, I guess. We need another big city. Uh, we're not finding any of these iron. Did we check Karas for iron? We did, right? I'm gonna double check it for iron, just to make sure. Just to make sure. We are bleeding gold pretty quickly here. Um, just do a quick little sanity check. Pretty confident we checked this bad boy out already, but maybe they had a, a caravan come in while we weren't paying attention. Doesn't look like it. Alright, well, let's head on to this other big city, Sargot, and uh, see what awaits us there. Alright, please, do head this way, sir. The fast forward's pretty sweet. We got a decently sized company here. We got nobody ready to join our squad. Not sure if that bandit leader will ever come around. We'll give him a few days, uh, you know. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Are you a noble we can talk to? Is that what this quest is? Sir, please, hold up. I need to speak with you. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? Niceest, and who are you? I am Ragnvand, king of the Sturgians. Oh, dear. We should have maybe been a little bit politer. That is a weird face mask you got on there. I'm not sure I love the, like, Condoms you've got strapped to your face? Like, that's what that looks like. I, You saw it too. You probably saw it too. It's a little weird. Uh, all right. Uh, can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendryak? Yes, my father died that day, thanks to the Batanian treachery. When they pledged to support us in the battle, we believed they would stand with us uh, in the shield wall like men. But of course, this is not the Batanian way. They sprung off like some woodland trickery up in the hills, killed off Netzerin's guard, and no doubt spent the rest of the battle whooping and boasting, chopping the heads off of men who were already dead. It was Sturgeons who met Neritz's guard face to face. My father ordered me to stay back as he led them into battle, but he was at their head. He forced them back when they broke and ran for shelter of their camp. We went and attacked the ramparts and broke them, but my father was hit by an imperial mace at the moment of his triumph and died. So he's like, yeah, we did it! And then some guy just right in the back of the head, clocks him and he's gone. What a way to go. I will never forget when a messenger tell, ran to tell me of my father's death, but I knew I must swallow my grief because now I was king. I rode down to the ruins of the Imperial camp to take their banner as my trophy. My inheritance won by my father and passed down to me. Oh, some of the boyars were insubordinate, but I have since showed them that I am master. Thank you. All right, well, we are slowly making progress there. We got a, quite a few more boys to uh, talk to, uh, but that's okay, we're making progress. Is that just telling us we made progress there? All right, we only had 19 more days to find two more iron ore. Uh, we bought some pretty expensive ones previously, but I think... Did I see somebody who's hostile to us? No, okay. Alright. That's a pretty big encampment out there. It's under siege. I don't think we can get involved in that. As much as I might want to, I don't think we can get involved in that too early. We're, uh, we don't have enough information uh, right now to make those kind of decisions, I don't think. To uh, really make somebody mad. Is there really not another big city there? Alright, well, we're just gonna, we're gonna keep trying to find that iron ore and uh, hit up some other missions hopefully along the way. No missions here? And we got iron ore, nothing but grain, and overpriced grain at that. All right, well, this is uh, it's going great. It's all right, we can keep picking up recruits. I don't mind too much. Uh, let's head over to this castle, I suppose. Well, I guess we'll hit the city on the Why is iron so scarce? I mean, I guess this is why the guy was having a problem with the economy. Uh, apparently, it just doesn't exist anywhere at all. All right, there. Okay, hang on, hang on. This is sheep grain. They got 85 grain. We could buy all of this and sell it next door and make a profit? We're trying it. We're trying it, boys. We're, we're buying their entire capacity of grain. 
and then slowly making our way over here to the city where we just checked the grain prices, and it was pretty, pretty high. Oh, look at that, right? We just bought in. Did we buy in at like 10? Pretty, pretty sure we did. That's profit, right? Oh, not, not olives, not olives. Give me those olives back. Actually, this is a pretty good time to sell olives too, right? We bought it at 19? That still seems like, it's still telling me it's not a good price, I, I think. But that's okay. This, this, guy, this guy's enough to pay me, right? I mean, that seems like, that was a quick profit, not a huge profit. They don't have enough money. No, how much money do you have? Where's your money? Where is your money? Am I not, am I not seeing this? All right, well. Okay, there we go. I think that, that's their limit, I think. Okay, cool. All right, so that's their limit. So we've got a little bit extra. That's okay. We still bought in a decent price. And we bought in at 14? I've already forgotten. How much did we buy in? Oh, they're not going to have any less. So I'm not going to be able to tell how much we bought in at. Okay, that's all right. Recruit a couple of these troops. Oh, okay, we got some battalions. So we're going to have a pretty uh, versatile squad here. So yes, yeah, so they got them at 10. We're buying in grain again. We're buying in at grain. I mean, we've seen so much cheap grain around here that I, I don't know how we wouldn't. So we're buying $400 worth of grain. And uh, now we're gonna we're gonna head right back here to uh, we're just gonna head right back to uh, maybe Mott. We know that there's uh, some pretty pretty good grain prices around here, so you know you gotta you gotta spend some money to make some money. Not the most exciting way to play it, but uh, we won't be playing the economy the whole time. You know we're just gonna do it for a little bit here while we can make some quick coin. All right, we have only a thousand money right now, so we, we you know we gotta try and uh, make money when we can. Uh, so yeah, we're selling at a. a 50% profit here. That's pretty good. How much money does this guy have? Okay, they cap. They seem like they cap out at a thousand. Okay, we can do one more. All right, it seems like that's where we can we can stop there. And there's iron ore. Heck yeah, dude! Give me all that iron ore. We're buying all of it. Um, do we not have more iron ore? Did I actually sell my iron ore previously? Did I just click too fast and I sold my iron ore? Oh, don't tell me I did that. I might have done that. That's upsetting. That's 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 real rough. I think I might have done that because we definitely had enough iron ore already. We bought two or three in the previous episode, um, so we don't have any delivered yet. But how are we doing? Where's my where's my inventory here? We should be good weight wise. Finally, iron ore. We only have three, so I think I think I actually sold. No, this is, a, this is a town we haven't even been to, hadn't it? Wasn't it? I think must have sold it to a different town. That's unfortunate. That's super dumb of me. How did I manage that? We're just gonna keep higher until we're at party capacity because bigger army the better. And oh, it was so hard to find that grain. How could we do that to ourselves? Where are we trying to deliver that grain? Is that Galland? Okay, so that's... Where is Galland? Galland's over there. Okay, so we can check uh, check up Jaculon here. See if uh, see if they got anything for us. And I would like to find a, a bigger battle here. Oh, let's see if we can't just destroy these looters real quick. We also need to probably uh, increase our riding skill soon. So, oh. All right, looters, looters. Are you guys going to band up together? I wouldn't mind battling 19 of you guys. Oh, they're not going to group up. They ran themselves into a corner. Surrender or die, sirs. You should really surrender. Like I'm, I shouldn't be biased here, but like pro tip, you should have surrendered that one. All right, boys. F1, F3, charge them. Get in there. We're just gonna knock an arrow. Huh. Dude, how sick would that be if that hit? Oh, there's a chance. Oh, we're not even close on that. Not even close on that. Oh, woo, we just killed that man in one swing. I didn't think we were capable of it. Uh, I hate this. I hate this. Okay, go, 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 go. We hit him. We hit him with that. Dang. Really? Oh, that was surprisingly close. They've, how are they not running? These are the bravest band of looters I've ever seen. That was the most inaccurate shot I've ever taken. Pop him. Oh, I think I hit my guy. I died. <laughs> he died. I just shot my guy. Right. I wanted that experience. I wanted that experience, dude. All right, that was a better battle. Uh, that axe, that seemed pretty good. We came by and just chopped that guy down like it was nothing. I'm happy with that. One wounded, who was it? Who was it? Really? Why is that so bad? I'm paying you so much more than anyone else. Though I guess the upside is that they do tend to just get wounded. They don't tend to die as much. Uh, maybe part of that's our medic being of quality, but hard to say, hard to say. All right, so here we'll, buy, we'll take all this stuff and just offload it soon. And uh, we'll head back on to Jaculon now. All right. Please, please, please. Tell me you got some iron for me, man. I need some iron, dude. 
Need some iron, you clay. Iron ore, all my side. They have one, and it's expensive enough that we're taking a loss. Oh, it hurts, but I'll do it. It hurts, but I'll do it. Um, just because I want to succeed in this mission, I think that the uh, opportunity cost of failing the mission is worse than uh, just not getting it, uh, than overpaying, rather. Uh, so here, we'll sell all this stuff. It was no good for us. Olives is a bad price for olives. Why does it tell me that's a good price for olives? That's not a good price for olives. I don't know how it works. Like I feel like if it's showing me it's red, you'd think it's uh you know above average or below average or you know different than the recent price. But I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just crazy. Uh, we got a boy with a quest. You can't sell their products in Jaculon. What's up with that? What's up with that? Hello, sir. Who are you? All right. You got a problem? You might say that. I work from dawn to late in the night, but even so, I can barely put bread on the table. Why is that? Because I can't sell my product at a fair price. The law says I can only sell the local. Okay, it's one of these. Got it. You need seven units of wool. Dude, wool's pretty easy to come by. I'm happy with that. Um, If you aren't going to a Sargat, maybe you could... Okay, we can go to Sargat. That's fine. So we're taking goods to him there? Let's do that. So we're, okay, so he can't sell, so we're going to take, maybe we're getting involved in some underhanded business, I don't know, I don't fully understand the uh, the economy and the laws in this area. Uh, hello? Hello? You heard rumors that we have purchased goods from Isilcred the Dyer. Uh, they can only buy goods directly from the artisans. <sighs> Apparently it's contraband, alright, alright. We'll give him back the goods. I don't want to make any enemies here, and I had no particular loyalty to that guy. Okay, cool. So, we lost some uh, some credit with the Dyer, but uh, it seems like our Shield Maiden approved of our action there. She uh, likes that we're on the up and up. Uh, so, unfortunate, unfortunate. We tried to make something happen there, tried to get involved. And like I said, I, I thought maybe we were uh, getting potentially involved in something a little underhanded. But, uh, unfortunate that, is, that that is the case. And we're going to continue on our... <laughs> in oh, 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 hang on. Oh, oh, boy. You, 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 sir. Uh, well, don't leave, I guess, since we're here. But I want to go talk to that guy because he got an exclamation point on him. Nothing for me, huh? Bad price for grain, bad price for olives. Not, not in love with it. That's okay. Sir, I would like to catch up with you. What do you got for me? What do you got for me, quest-wise? Hello, sir. Who are you? Durthert. That's a weird name. All right. Sir, Durthert, can you tell me about the Battle of Pendryak? It was a victory, the kind of that is almost as bad as a defeat. We had given an oath to the Empire to join them if they were attacked. It seemed clear to me that we should honor our oath, that the Batanians and Sturgeons were the aggressors, but there was always room to argue the details. Ultimately, our barons did not wish to fight the Empire, so they resisted coming in to its help. Alright. So, you're part of which group? I, mean, I don't even remember. It's too much. You didn't fight, you stood there and watched, took some losses. Alright, so you're a coward. Got it. I think that's a summary. <laughs> uh, basically, I think he's saying it was complicated. We didn't expect it to be complicated. What can you do? All right, man. I don't know what this quest is going to lead to. I mean, I don't think there's any real like end game plot we're coming across there or anything. But hey, who knows? Uh, we're getting a little bit full in our party capacity here. Please, somebody, for the love of everything that is good, have some iron ore. Just let me buy iron. That's all I want. It's taking us like. Six weeks in game or something insane. Uh, who are you? Do we have a? Oh, we have a quest from you, all right? And we don't have enough. We don't have enough iron to make it work, dude. I hate it. I hate it. All right, we're at pretty much at party capacity here. Do you? I'll buy iron here and sell it to you. I'll do that if I have to, just for the sake of sanity and peace of mind. It's not looking good though. It's not looking good. All right, I feel we're going to get out of the economy after this. As soon as this happens, we're not taking any economy quests for a while. Because uh, this, uh, this is a little bit maddening. It is unfortunate that we're also like on a peninsula here. So we have pretty limited uh, places to travel to. Iron ore, please. I, I, please. For the love of all things good. I'm losing my mind here. I'm losing my mind. All right, you sir, you got a quest for me? Family feud, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll take up a look at another family feud here. I don't mind that. Hello, sir. One of my relatives is falling. Okay, we had this already, right? This is pretty much the same thing, right? Okay, what can we do? All right. So this one, last time we did this, we misunderstood. Uh, we were supposed to take him to a guy. Is it, is it the Carson mission again? Is it the same mission? 
We just failed it and he came back home. Uh, so we were supposed to go to the dude and talk to him. Not avoid the dude like I thought it was. Uh, so let's see. Talk to Orgund in Norgrit. Okay, where's Norgrit? Track it. Send me there. Send me there, boys. Where is it? Where is it? Is this small? Oh. Wait, is it here? Is, oh, is this to be talking? What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oregon. Sir, where are you? Do we not know where he is? Oh, here it is, here it is. You've accepted to talk to Oregon in Norgan first and convince him to go to Bertho of Murak. Oh, okay, okay. So we, so Carson just happened to show up and get me confused. Is that what just happened? So we've got to go find, we got to go find the dude. Like we have to go find Carson. All right, dude, these missions are surprisingly confusing. All right, where are you at? O Olather, okay, there he is, okay. All right, we're getting the hang of it. We're getting the hang of it. There's a learning curve and we're, uh, we're curving that learn. Sure as anything, we're curving that learn. All right. So everyone else in our squad just kind of like spreads out throughout the city. Okay, that got me a little twisted there. All right, so I guess once we're in a city, they get to go and enjoy themselves. You know, I'm not gonna not gonna deny, deny them that. Why would I? Hello, sir. Come with me. I have a quick question. What? 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 Come with me. Is he coming with me? I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused on this one. All right, we're going to hold things starting at the top. Inric, a landlord from Norgant, told you about an incident that turned into an ugly feud. One of the youngsters killed another in an accident, and the wounded party refuses blood money. You've accepted to talk to Orgrand and Nor Norgrant first and convince him to go with you to Borthor of Murak in Merak. Is he coming with us? I don't. Is he in our party? Karsten, apparently. Dot, 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 I mean, I wasn't seeing an option to convince him, were you? Carson joined our squad. Talking to this guy again. Talking to this guy again. Dude, these quests uh, need a little bit of... About the task you gave me. I will talk with him right away. I just talked to this dude. What? We're doing it again. We're, we're going to talk to him again. My horse hit its head on a branch. I didn't think it had that kind of ups, dude. I know our horse has decent ups. I had not expected to yeet itself into the stratosphere. That was unexpected. Dude, all right. Boy, how do I convince you to come along? I didn't have any dialogue options. Sir, you. Yes. Olather. Yes. Come with me. Oh, okay. We're threatening him and he's not coming. You know what? That's okay. He doesn't want to come. Then I don't care. I don't care. That's fine. Uh, we'll go to Merak because maybe that'll work out for us. I don't know. We, we got to check out other places for uh, those goods anyway. So uh, I'm not going to complain. What are we doing? Why are we not riding? Oh, did I actually track it and didn't say to go there? I think I did. All right. Whatever, dude. Take me to Merak. This is going to be a weird episode. That's okay. We got some looters around us. They're not going to mess with us because they wouldn't dare. Whoa. Was that Olather? I, I swear that guy's band, like company has said Olather. All right. We're, this guy is the guy we're supposed to talk to once we convince the dude to come with us. We haven't convinced him yet, but you won't negotiate with him. All right. Well, uh, that's unfortunate. I don't see a way to deal with this, but that's okay. I... I I'm not that invested in this quest. All right, we're at capacity here for our party. Iron ore? Oh, but they have such good... No, that's ours. <laughs> All right, well, at least I didn't do it. This is a pretty good fish price. Do we invest in the fish economy? We invest in the fish economy. I know he said we're not going to be uh, getting into the economies anymore. Uh, I'll do things like this. I just, uh, I won't be buying... We bought it at... We bought it at nine. We bought it at nine for our fish. Bought it at 19 for our, our olives. I gotta keep better track of that stuff because uh, it matters. Uh, but we're just gonna not accept quests where they want us to go and do stuff for us, for them. Uh, we're not gonna recruit anymore. Please, I, uh, just please, somebody, anybody. All right, not a good place to sell our fish. That's okay. We'll keep looking around. 
Ooh, ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. This is, uh, this is a, a tough one. We got a couple of tough quests here. Are we over encumbered? No, we're not. Wait, hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa. Log updated what? Did we fail it? We took too long? I tried to convince them. I did what I could. You know, whatever. That's It's their fault. You know, I don't have any uh, skin in this game, really. So, who cares? We can offload our fish here for a two gold profit? That seems a little early. That seems a little bit early here. How about looking olives? Olives, not a good price for our olives. I think I said grapes earlier, but still. Uh, we're going to hold those fish a little bit longer. I think we can do better than that for ourselves. Whoop, that is our time. All right, so we're going to wrap it up here pretty soon, but I'd like to finish this stupid iron quest, dude. I'm losing my mind. All right, sold grapes, sold fur, purchased olives. So they've had some trade coming recently, so maybe they've got something here now. Not looking good. Iron ore, I saw it. Where'd it go? They have iron ore. They have a good price of iron ore. We're buying. We're buying five iron ore. Capacity exceeded. That's fine. We'll offload fish here too. That's a good place to offload the fish. We're doing it. We'll keep some fish because, you know, we just need to eat stuff. Uh, not a good place to offload this. So I th I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Please. We gained a level. Sick, dude. All right. Uh, I don't know how we gained a level off of all that nonsense, but we're finishing this quest. I can't not finish a single quest. So where are we going back to? Gallon. Take me to Gallon, dude. Track it. Take us there, please. Gallon, we just came from there. That's fine. We found iron ore. The caravans came. Oh my goodness. What a nightmare. The single mountain bandit just chilling out there. I don't want to mess with him. He's just living his best life, you know? Oh, dude. What an episode this one's been. What a, what a weird episode. Please, sir. I've done it. I've done what you asked. P pay me. I don't even know if we're making a profit off of this, but we're gaining some reputation, gaining some renown, checking some boxes. That's what I'm here to do is check boxes and fight brigands. That's what we're looking for. Hey, I know it's been a while. Look, all right, I did what I could. I brought you the stuff. Brought you that good. Increased by 11 to 11. Decreased by... I don't even know who this guy is and why he's mad at us. But it seems like we're always making somebody mad. Like, we're... Every time we do one of those quests, we're losing 20 reputation with one person to gain, like, 10 or 11 with another person. And barely turning a profit in the process? It's not looking worth it to me. Uh, so I think we're definitely going to back off uh, that kind of quest in the future. Um, we do have some iron, so we could start, uh, looking at maybe smithing some of our own stuff here soon. How are we looking price-wise? Olive's no good, or definitely bad. That's okay, that's okay. I'm still shocked at how much crossbow costs, dude. Crossbow costs $22,000. We can upgrade people to a crossbowman. Maybe we could upgrade one of our dudes to a crossbowman, stab him in the night and take his crossbow, sell it for a gigantic profit? We're not gonna do that, but, uh, it'd be kind of cruel if you could. Um... Yeah, we're not going to look into invest in anything too heavily now. Right now, uh, we're going to finish this uh, quest here of Netzeri's Folly to get a better idea of the uh, the surrounding lore and figure out who we want to side with in this uh, giant affair overall. Uh, that's going to do it for this one, though. We're going to start picking sides and uh, taking over some castles here. Pretty soon, we got a decent party size. Got to grow that a bit, but uh, we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. And uh, we're going to see a lot more combat in the next episode promise you that. We're going to be looking for fights. Hopefully righteous fights. We're going to try and be on the right side of history here, but eh, you know, it's a, you don't always have all the information here. All the cards aren't always on the table when you get yourself involved in a kerfuffle. And I think that's what the uh, main message of that previous novel we talked to was, so maybe he knows what's up. That's it for this episode, though. Hopefully you're still enjoying it. A bit of a weird episode. That's okay. We're going to get into a lot more combat next time. I promise. I promise. Uh, if you did enjoy it, hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you want to see some more of these in the future. Hit the bell icon to get notifications when a new episode comes out. There's a brand new episode on this channel every single day at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Generally, we've been a little bit off lately. Been a little sick. We're going to try and make it work. Forgive me, please. Until the next episode, I hope you have a nice day. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, check out these similar videos floating all around your screen.